Hi everyone! Today we're going to take a look at the best per built gaming PCS under $1,000 in the market for this year. First we're going to show you our top 10 best picks, and we'll talk about what you should look for before buying a per built gaming PCS under $1,000. You can find links to all of the products we've mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have CyberPower Gamer Extreme. There are a lot of good gaming desktops for under $1,000, but we think the CyberPower Gamer Extreme is the one of the best options right now. It doesn't have a ton of storage or memory, but it has a solid CPU-slash-GPU combo, and it probably offers the best price-to-performance ratio out of all of the options on this list. Along with the Intel Core if of 11400 and the RTX 2060 Super, this build comes with 8 of DDR4 memory, a 500 HPS SD, a tempered glass PC case, and a couple of RGB fans as well. Overall, the combination of the IF of 11400 and the RTX 2060 is going to deliver more performance than any other per-built desktop currently under $1,000. And, for that reason, we've chosen it as our top pick. For a comparison of the type of hardware you can get if you build your own system, check out our $1,000 Gaming PC Build Guide. Moving on to the next at number 2 with iBuyPower Pro. If you prefer an all-AMD gaming PC, you might want to check out iBuyPower's Pro Gaming Desktop. This one does come in at a little over $1,000, though. However, if you're willing to spend a little more, you will get an excellent AMD-based hardware configuration. This iBuyPower Desktop comes with an AMD Ryzen 5 5600 processor, an RX 6600 XD graphics card, a 480 SSD, and 16 of RAM. In comparison to some of the other options on this list, it has a slightly worse processor than the CyberPower Gamer Extreme listed above, a comparable GPU, and double the memory but it costs still to $100 more. The more expensive Skydeck Archangel listed below has the same CPU, a better GPU, the same amount of RAM, and more storage. So, in the end, if you're willing to pay a little more to get a system that has 16 of RAM, as opposed to the 8 of RAM in the Gamer Extreme and Slash or U1 and all AMD system, then the iBuyPower Pro is a worthy option. The number 3 position is held by CyberPower Gamer Master, one slightly more affordable option that comes with more storage, but won't provide as much in-game performance as the options listed above is the CyberPower Gamer Master. The CyberPower Gamer Master comes with a weaker Ryzen 3 3100 processor, a much weaker RX 550 graphics card, and 8 of DDR4 memory. For storage, the CyberPower desktop comes with both a 240 SSD and a two-part drive. So, you get more storage, but a much lower-end CPU-slash-GPU combination. If you're only planning on playing non-demanding games, like Rocket League or League of Legends, this system will work just fine. However, if you want to play more demanding titles, this machine is going to struggle to provide good performance. However, the CyberPower Gamer Master is one of the cheapest option on this list, coming in at just under $900. So, if you want to save some money and you aren't planning on playing more demanding games, this system might be what you're looking for. Although, the HP Pavilion listed below is even cheaper right now, and it has a better hardware configuration aside from having less storage capacity. Next at number 4, we have HP Pavilion. If your goal is to spend as little as possible, but still get a per-built desktop that can easily max out anything you throw at it on a 1008i monitor, then this HP Pavilion might be the best option for you. This HP Pavilion comes with an AMD Ryzen 5 5600 processor, an AMD RX 5500 graphics card, 8 of DDR4 RAM, a 256 SSD, and a micro addicts case. The best part about the HP Pavilion is the fact that it comes in at about tilde $750, making it quite a bit cheaper than the two options listed at the top of this list. And, while it won't offer quite the same in-game performance as those two options, the combination of the Ryzen 5 5600 and the RX 5500 will be powerful enough to run anything on a 1080i monitor on higher settings. Ultimately, if you're looking for a solid per-built gaming desktop under $1,000 that will give you ideal performance on a 1080i monitor 
and you'd like to save as much money as possible, then the HP Envy would be worth checking out. The number 5 position is held by Skydeck or Changel. If you're like me, then setting a budget of $1,000 doesn't really mean you'll only spend $1,000 or less. Sometimes it means that you can be enticed to spend a little more if the bump in price seems worth it. And, while the CyberPower Gamer Extreme is an excellent option for tilde $1,000, this Skydeck Archangel per build desktop might just have the hardware combination that will get you to spend a little more. The Skydeck Archangel comes with an AMD Ryzen 5 3600 processor, an NVIDIA RTX 3060 graphics card, 16 of RAM, and a lump SSD. So, when compared to the CyberPower Gamer Extreme, you get more memory, a better GPU, and a fancier looking case. The GPU slash CPU combination will be good enough to allow you to get excellent performance on a 1440 144 monitor, and it will even allow you to max out most games on a fork monitor with a playable frame rate as well. So, if you're willing to spend some extra money to get the best GPU possible, then the Skydeck Archangel would be another option worth considering. That's all for today. We upload computer and accessories product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.